Today is March 17th, 2019, and a very happy St. Patrick's Day to everybody. Um, I thought it would be a good time to take a look at my work in progress predator rescue team since they're mostly all wearing green. And uh, I'm going to show you the progress I made on these figures so far. <laughs> So Predator is one of those movies I, I grew up with. Uh, I'd seen it in a theater when it first came out. Huge fan. Love the characters. Um, this will actually be my second version of the Predator Rescue Team that I've done. The first one was done um, some probably 15 years ago in one in teenth scale. So now that I, I decided to um, do a one twelve scale since this is what I collect. And we'll start with um, Mac here. Um, all his gear is removable. He is a, um, a Namor Marvel Legends figure with um, Captain America boots and arms. Um, the arms are actually a little bulky, so it makes them look bigger than they should be. I may swap that out for Namor arms and tighten up this, this uh, jacket, but I'm not sure yet. Um, the vest and backpack are from uh, 112 scale, or 112, 1 6 scale figures. And then he features 3A uh, pouches. Uh, I still have to want him to do a side holster and a knife. Um, otherwise, he's pretty much finished. The head is a uh, Virgil from the WWE. And it's a WWE cap. So you got to look at the difference. They have a baseball cap. And then John Cena comes with a military style cap. The military style cap is obviously uh, much better for this purpose. Get him to stand. Uh, next we have Dylan. <clears throat> um, I've done a few different outfits for this figure. Um, this one I did a regular shirt and then I did the vest over it the way that it was worn in the movie. And I'm reasonably happy with this. Um, Gave him his weapons. Um, he also features three A uh, pouches. The holsters from uh, Captain America, and I just painted it black. Um, his entire body is a uh, Kofi Kingston uh, WWE figure with um, I don't know which one WWE boots, and then an Apollo Creed head that I uh, shaved the afro down so that you can fit, uh, again, a WWE hat on it. And um, he's pretty close to being done. I don't really think I have to do any more on him. Um, next up, we'll look at Dutch. This is the figure that actually um, started this entire line. This is about a year in the making. I had sent the figure, which is the WWE um, Sid Vicious, out to uh, California and had the entire outfit custom made. I then redid the pants because I found a material that looks closer to what was used in the movie. Uh, the hands, the head, um, a lot of the bits are from the NECA version. So once I had him done, I wanted to do the rest of the members. Next up we have uh, Poncho, and um, he's basically done. I used a WWE head because I thought it looked similar to the actor. And then um, I used the baseball cap because um, that was actually the first one that I purchased. And um, since I did purchase it for this, I decided to leave it. I have his grenade launcher. Um, the vest and well, the vest itself is uh, from one six uh, figures. Then the pouches are from uh, 3A. And then he's got the side holster, which is from a McFarlane figure. Um, the entire outfit I made. And uh, I'm pretty happy with him. Um, he looks you know, looks the part. Looks like the actor uh, for the most part. And then uh, last but not least, we have Blaine. Um, his head is a little small, so I may actually um, look elsewhere. But I thought it looked a lot like... Jesse Ventura, so that's why I went with it. The hat is a WWE cowboy hat that I just glued the uh, 
one side up, so it looks like the hat he wore in uh, Predator. Uh, the pants I sewed, the shirt and the t-shirt, or the jacket and the shirt are from uh, GPS Lot. This was a white shirt. Um, I just painted it green, then hand painted all the camo on it. Uh, again, features a 3A belt. And um, I, don't know, I have little bits to go over on him. Uh, he again is a Namor figure with Captain America boots. Um, these certain boots, actually, you can just boil and pop the lower leg from uh, Namor and they just pop right on. So you don't lose any of the articulation um, and it doesn't change the height of the figure. So that actually works out really well. Now, as far as um, Billy and Hawkins, uh, Hawkins, I'm eventually going to break down and buy the NECA uh, version of him uh, for the parts. And Billy, I'm still kind of sorting out um, what I want to do for the head and that type of thing. But, um, you know, they'll, they'll be coming. So I'll have all seven members. Um, I'm not in any hurry at all to finish it. I do have Billy's hat. And uh, again, if I buy the NECA one, it's just a, a head swap that has the hat already on it. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with these guys. So that's what I got. I uh, hope everybody had a really good uh, St. Patrick's Day. I hope you got your corned beef and cabbage in until next year. And I um, hope you have a good uh, upcoming week. And I will catch you later. Bye. Keep watching for the next video. Come back soon. Bye.